Good evening, everyone. Bienvenidos todos this blessed Saturday evening. Here again, I want to share the word. Um, this study, um, I felt that I had to do it because on one of my videos uh, earlier this week, I shared um, scripture and I mentioned Elijah and Elisha, which is Eli he wa Elisha was Elijah's servant. Uh, and it's uh, like encouragement. It, it, it is the strength of our God. And through the spoken written word, through the prophets of old and ending with Lord Jesus, uh, encouragement is there for us to remember. To remember that Abba, Father, God is always with us. Uh, no matter what loves and uh, and because I shared that in one of my videos and forgive me love uh, I felt the need that I should sh share the scripture of where it states uh, of what Elijah wanted Lord Father to allow his servant to see what he saw in that invisible realm that Lord Jesus speaks of in the New Testament, because he does speak of the invisible realm. Well, in the Old Testament, it was seen. This invisible realm was seen by the prophets. And uh, this one prayed for Abba Father to open the eyes of the unbeliever. Um, and with that said, this is why I'm making this video, loves. And may it bring encouragement to all my brothers and sisters, whether many, few or many, it's whomever Lord Father sends to hear the spoken written word, loves. Uh, it is for our lives now to better our lives and all glory to our God. It is why the written word is uh, here, still active and alive. Um, so I begin. All glory to you, Lord Father, in the name of your son, Jesus. I share your most powerful spoken written word to all of you, loves. Uh, and it'll be out of 2 Kings. Chapter 6, verses 14 through 17, and then a few breakdowns, loves. So it I state that the spoken written word. Out of 2 King, chapter 6. Therefore, he sent horses and chariots and a great army there. Okay. There was a king that was angry at the prophet Elisha because of what he was stating about God, the true God of Israel, and the power that is behind their faith in their God. So this king goes... Well, you know what? I'm going to send my army to them. So this is where I'm starting because there, there's only the scripture that I want to share that I start at. But because it starts this way, this verse, and please forgive me, loves, heed the word. Uh, it's the way I'm going to start it. Uh, so this is why it says, therefore, that king, the enemy of the people of Israel, he sent horses and chariots and a great army there. And they came by night and surrounded the city, the city where Elisha was at. And when the servant of the man of God, which is a servant of Elisha, arose early and went out, there was an army surrounding the city 
with horses and chariots. And his servant said to him, the servant of Elijah, Elisha, uh, went and woke up Elisha and said, Alas, they're here. My master, alas, my master, what shall we do that the army is here? So Elisha answered to the servant, do not fear. Do not fear. That is what we should be telling our brothers and sisters now during this chaos. Do not fear. Let's remind each other that the word of God there is a reason why it says, do not fear. So here's the encouragement. Do not fear. For those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Heed the spoken written word of our God loves. It states, do not fear. For the army that is with us is greater than the worldly army that is out there with them. That's the spoken written word of our God, and it is truth. And I take a breath because I, I take full honor in sharing the word of my God. That it is the spoken written word, loves. So here Elisha brings encouragement to his servant. Do not Fear, for those who are with us are more than those that are with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, Lord, Abba, Father God, I pray, open his eyes that he might see. This is what we do as believers for our brothers and sisters in Christ. When we see them, falling into the prey, into the hands of the wicked and placing fear in them. We pray for them. Lord, Father, help us remind them to not fear and believe that greater are the ones that are with us through Lord, Father, than those that are with the enemy, with the wicked one. So here Elisha prays, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he might see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the servant, of the young man, and he saw. Lord Father heard the prayer of Elisha and opened the eyes of his servant. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. Horses and chariots before they were a fire, forgive me, a fire all around Elisha, loves. No one else saw this, but because Elijah belie Elisha believed in the God of his master, Elijah, that spirit, when Eli Elijah was taken up, that Holy Spirit entered Elisha. And behold, now his servant sees this invisible realm. That's the power and the grace of our God. When we are connected to the people, to, to God's servants, we're able to believe and see the kingdom of God. It's why the apostles, being around Lord Jesus, were full of grace and were able to fulfill the spoken written word, loves. That's the power of our God. Again, this is 2 King chapter 6, verses 14 through 17. And I the last one was that he prayed, and the servant's eyes opened up, and he saw that army. That Elisha saw. And it was greater than the, than the enemy's army. That's power of our God. It's why he didn't fear. 
It's a powerful story. Go and study it, loves. It's encouragement. It is the truth. One of the breakdowns to continue this encouragement of the power of our God, that he's always with us, loves, it's Second Chronicles chapter 32, verse 7 through 8. And uh, I've read this one also in another video, but I'm sharing it here as well. It says, be strong and courageous. Be not afraid nor dismayed. The king of Israel, Ezra, this is Assyria, forgive me, loves. Before the king of Assyria, before all the multitude that is with him, for there be more with us than him. Here again in Second Chronicles chapter 32, chapter se uh, verses 7 and 8. It also, again, it gives us encouragement. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or dismayed of the king of Assyria, nor before all the multitude that is with him. For there are more with us than with him. All glory to our Abba, Father God. Why is there more with us than with them? Because we believe in the spoken written word of our God and the power, the mighty power of the true God of Israel. And that's our Abba Father. That's why it says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Elijah tells, do not be afraid. For there are more with us than with them. That, that's truth, loves. It's why Lord Jesus, when he was going through his tribulation and his disciples wanted to stop the army that was, the Roman army that was, that were coming up against Jesus, he said, do you not know, stop that. Do you not know that all I have to do is call out to my father and he will send me 12 legions of angels? That's the power of our God. It's Psalms 91. The angels obey the spoken written word of our God. Why can't we not? Why is it that we have such little faith? Glory and power to our God. We edify our God in our daily lives, loves, with encouraging each other, edifying the church. Why? Because we believe in, forgive me, loves, we believe in our Lord Jesus. We believe in the power of the spoken written word. I continue, Second Chronicles, verse 8. With him is an army of flesh, of flesh, loves. But with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles to fight our battles loves and the people were strengthened by the words of the king hezekiah of judea he was encouraging his people loves do not be afraid people do not be afraid we serve a great god it is not our battle abba father helps us he says lord god is here to help us and to fight our battle. And through those spoken words, it strengthened the people. Why? Because they saw the power of God, of their true God of Israel. This is in effect till now, loves. We need to heed the spoken written word of our God. It is... It is the last church that needs to stand firm in the word of God to edify and testify for our Lord Jesus before he comes. Isn't that what everyone is speaking of? Well, then how are we going to testify if all we do is fear what this world throws at us? No, we continue 
We do not worry. We continue to share the spoken written word, the kingdom of heaven here with all our brothers and sisters. We encourage each other. Don't be afraid. I continue, loves. This one's out of Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, our God, he is the one who goes with you. He goes with us, loves. He goes with us wherever we go. We stay under grace in his righteousness, loves. Understand the spoken written word. Seek the kingdom first and his righteousness and all will be given unto us. His glory, loves. In righteousness, he stands with us. He stands with us, loves. He is the one who goes with us, with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. He will not leave us or forsake us, loves. That's a kept promise. The holy, holy spoken written word of our God. Another breakdown out of the same book, De Deuteronomy chapter 1, verses 29 and 30 states, Then I said to you, Do not be terrified or afraid of them. The Lord your God who goes before you, He will fight for you, for us, loves. He will fight for us. According to all he did for you in Egypt before your eyes. Meaning that, Abba, why should we doubt? If Lord Father fought for us and pulled us out of Egypt, out of that bondage of the king of Babylon, more so now that we follow his only begotten son, more so now, loves, because he sees the righteousness of his son in our lives. It's why now, more so, he fights these battles for us. This is the spoken written word of our God, loves. I will not tire of stating that. I will not tire. This is more breakdowns out of first chronicles chapter 22 verse 13 and it states then you will prosper if you take care this is a a fulfillment loves we need to heed the spoken written word of our god then you will prosper if it states if you take care to fulfill the statutes and judgments with which the Lord charged Moses concerning Israel. We are Israel in the eyes of our God because we are now adopted into the family through our Lord Jesus. Second, First Chronicles 22 verse 13 is key loves. Then you will prosper. We will prosper only if we take care of and to fulfill the statutes and judgments with which the Lord charged Moses to leave us, leave behind for us, Lord Jesus and the apostles taught through the books of Moses, loves. They're the statutes, the judgments, meaning judgments, that we ourselves judge what is right and wrong. We need to do that. We need to do that in our lives. Hey, you know what? That's wrong. Mm -mm. Let me go see what the word of God states regarding this that's happening right now in my life. That's what that means. That we fulfill the statutes and judgments with which the Lord charged Moses to leave here for Israel. And we are Israel now, loves. We have to heed the spoken written word. Through the righteousness of our God. The last verse that I read with encouragement through our Lord Jesus. 
It is powerful. And it is out of the book of John, chapter 13. If I'm right, loves, I will write it down in the description. But Lord Jesus says, Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear or be dismayed. I'm sorry, loves. No, that is still continuing. First Chronicles 22, verse 13. Um, I need to get it back up. Forgive me. And it's, it's out of the book of John. going to pause loves it's John 14 loves verse 1 it says let not your heart be troubled if you believe in God believe also in me that's the spoken written word through our Lord Jesus he states let not your heart be troubled if you believe in God, believe also in me. Lord Jesus says, do not be afraid. He says, do not be troubled. Do not allow your heart to be troubled. Believe in my God. This is the spoken written word of our God loves. It's the, it is the spoken written word. It is truth. And again, I'm not going to get tired of stating it. It is to encourage each other loves. Encourage so we do not fear what this world is putting in front of us. We need to continue and stay focused and to continue to do what Lord Jesus says. Share the kingdom. Share the kingdom to all nations. Do not worry. These things need to pass. We need to fulfill what we need to do. And that's share the spoken written word loves. To encourage one another again loves the spoken written word is amazing it it encourages me to continue to go on no matter what tribulation is in my life at the moment i continue to love through through my lord jesus because abba father loved us first loves through his son if any question loves, if you feel that something is missed, ask. We'll find it in the in the spoken written word. We will find the answer. Again, all glory to Abba Father in the name of his son Jesus. I share the mighty powerful spoken written word of you, Father, with all my brothers and sisters whom hear your word through my mouth. All glory to you, Lord Father, in the name of your son, Jesus. Blessings, everyone. Gracias todos. Have a beautiful, blessed Saturday evening, loves.